Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you all so much for tuning back in. I know it's been about a few months since you last saw us. I believe I was getting ready to go to my surgery. Um, everything's all good now, thankfully. Thank God. Um, I am good. I am up and running. <laughs> Um, but yeah, today's content is going to be a little bit different from what it usually is, I guess. You know, with the pranks, I'm definitely going to continue on that trek um, with my partner. But, you know, I definitely want to get more personal and vulnerable. Um, you know, the reason for this video is because I did share on my TikTok that I will be doing a 100-day challenge. Um, yeah, it's a bit of much, but it's definitely something that I do want to commit to uh, for myself. Um, and so that 100 day challenge is basically going to be uh, about mindfulness and self-awareness, uh, you know, the human mind and behavior um, and everything that I've been learning through, you know, all of the amazing, incredible sources like my therapist, shout out to you, um, all of the self-help books and motivational speakers, YouTube videos, podcasts, audiobooks my partner, um, basically anything and everything that I can positively feed my mind with. And before I start with it, and let me preface by saying this, um, as challenging and uncomfortable as this is for me, I do feel that it is important um, to, you know, get personal and a little bit, you know, vulnerable and let you all into my story because it has led me to who I am today and as someone who's always sorry I'm also sick I've been sick for a while now but um as someone who's thinking always thinking about other people why not bring you along with me and you know if it resonates and if you can relate with me and I can help you in some way that that's so great and how awesome and how cool would that be if we're able to heal and grow together. I think that's just amazing. Because <laughs> um, as much as I've felt that I've come a long way, I definitely do have a long ways to go. Um, you know, healing isn't linear. In other words, you know, just, just because you've identified better coping skills and strategies doesn't mean you'll adopt those patterns and behaviors instantly. Um, Unfortunately, it's not a one and done thing. It does take a conscious effort and it's ongoing. It is brutal and it takes a lot of work. Um, it's unlearning and relearning old behaviors. Um, thankfully for me, I've always loved learning, especially when it comes to my personal growth and development. I've always been receptive to, um, you know, constructive criticism and feedback, so long as it's helping me to become a better version of myself and, you know, get closer to God. Like, I literally pray about that every single day, like that specific thing. And, um, you know, I do hope I emulate that in some way um, as well. Uh, I'm not perfect I'm never going to be, I understand that 100%. And that's really the first step, you know, acknowledging that you may have areas of opportunities where you can improve on, you know, you're not this angelic person or you're not the smartest in the room or maybe you have, you know, your adversities or your unhealed traumas that you want to one day overcome. Whatever it is, the first step to self-awareness and your journey of healing starts with you. It starts within you and it starts with looking deep within your core and saying, hey, I don't know what this is. I don't know what it means, but I do know what I want to feel in the future or I do know what I don't want to feel today or in this present moment um and maybe I need help with it you know with exploring it and that's totally okay um if it's one thing I've learned through therapy it's okay to ask for help it really is you know we don't have all the answers 
and we can't expect that upon ourselves you know without the help of others and i'm so fortunate <clears throat> to now be on this path where i realize what's been happening to me um in my life uh, in retrospect everything in my life that i've dealt with um and went through in the past few years i'd say since like 2018 it's definitely been preparing me to be this version of myself today um all of the things that i've i've accomplished in my life all of the things that i'm able to do today would not have been possible if it weren't for this journey of healing and you know since i look back now and i realize that certain things i went through like overcoming my alcoholism you know it had since been a part of my healing and my self-discovery <laughs> um yeah you're probably like wait what alcoholism what are you talking about yeah yes i'm jenica and i'm an alcoholic um but you know maybe i'll topic i'll i'll uh table this topic for another video um, but long story short, you know, and maybe there have been several relapses, but I do make daily conscious efforts and daily conscious dec decisions to not drink because I do acknowledge that I do have a drinking problem and, you know, among other things, you know, this is one of my sufferings and one of my messes that I do have and want to be able to share and, hopefully one day become one of my messages um one of my favorite books uh talks about radical honesty radical honesty is a form of authenticity and it begins inside you it is recognizing in a warm way and applying gently to your conscious life it's really about self-love and when you tell yourself the truth it's really the beginning of inner harmony like who doesn't want that like i want that so badly for myself and in like all areas of my life so you know i'm okay with acknowledging all that i am and all that i'm not um shit like it's taken a long time for me to be able to say this you know like since 2018 for this specific battle like i'm i'm only a year and some sober um i make mistakes and i'm gonna continue to make them and that's okay you know it's all a part of the process and remember healing is not linear so if you want to tag along with me on my journey of healing and self-awareness and just continuous growth and being having that growth mindset stay tuned for you know my next video or my tiktok where i will be sharing my hundred uh where i'll be doing my hundred day challenge um on of course like all the great tools that i've i've learned and again i'm i'm a very intentional being all of this here is a part of my story, um, my journey, uh, but it really could also be a part of yours. <sighs> Thank you all for, so much for listening. Um, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, tell your friends friends. Um, again, it's been a minute and I'm so sorry for the, the inconsistency with the YouTube videos. I, I am working on it. I'm going to continue working on it. But yeah, thank you.